of the iPhone. Okay? And for this one, we can use Pythagoras theorem. Okay? Not only that, if I call this angle theta, I can also use Dua Ka So. Now, this one don't exist in mathematics. Huh? It's just a short form for you to know tangent, cosine, and sine. Okay? Now, what do you mean by that? Now, I told you already, Dua Ka So is with respect to a certain angle. So, if this is theta, okay, let's say I call this A, B, and this one C. Tangent theta will be B over A, right? Opposite over adjacent, right? Okay. What about cosine theta? A over C, right? What about sine theta? B over C. All these are ratios. Okay. Now, if I don't call this theta, I call this one x. Then I will have a different story. What is sine x? A over A over C. Is that right? What about cosine x? B over C. What about tangent x? A over B. So sine cosine tangent is with respect to the angle that we're going to. Do you understand? Okay. Now, one more thing I need to stress. Okay. Dua ka so is for you. Uh. Don't go and put dua liter. Uh. Don't have. Uh. Don't have dua liter, ka liter, so liter. You understand? Because some people put up this style with their mate. So they put dua liter, ka liter, sine liter. Then I will show you out of the shop. You understand? That's why it's for you to memorize. Okay. Now, one more thing that I need to talk about for right angle triangles is this. Hello? Okay. For so right angle triangles, try and use Pythagoras theorem sine cosine tangent. Okay? Now, in section 6 by 3 and 6 by 4, I will do sine root and cosine root. Because one people, once the student learns sine root and cosine root, they will want to use sine root and cosine root every time, even though there's a 90 degrees. It's not necessary because when you sign root of a sign root, okay, when it's a right angle triangle, it will point out to one of these. Do you understand? So it is unnecessary. Do you follow? Then you will ask me, Joe, sure, then is it wrong? But it's not wrong, it's because you're wasting your time. Is that clear? You're wasting your time. Okay? Now, then I need to talk about one more thing about triangles. Now, if this is the smallest angle, This will be the shorter side. I think it makes sense, right? If you open up middle, then that one will be the shortest. Okay? If this is the largest angle, what will be this? This will be the longest side. Because there was once that told the long question came out. Find the longest side. The student don't know which one. You understand what I'm talking about? The longest side will be opposite the largest angle. Is that clear? Because open is the widest, so that should be the largest. Everybody clear? So this one you don't know that Everybody clear with what I'm saying. Okay, then I'm going on straight to what I have discussed yesterday, the CAST. Yeah? But I'm going to restrict only to the first two quadrants. Now what am I talking about? <coughs> now, for your Cartesian plane, CAST. Yeah? Remember I told you? A stands for all ratios positive. What about S? Only sine positive. What about C? Tangent positive. What about C? Only cosine positive. And I talked about something called basic angle right? or reference angle. I told you. Okay? Now I'm going to make this very clear on the board today. Huh? Because yesterday I just briefly go through it, right? Okay. Let's change the basic angle. Let's say I have 40 degrees. Okay, now all angles you measure from here. If it goes in this direction, the angle is positive. If it goes the other direction, the angle is negative. 
the best I can have density for the growth the other way. Understand? But it's still in the fourth quadrant. Understand? How do we label the quadrant? One, two, three, four. It goes for that. One, two, three, four. And all angles are measured with respect to the positive x axis. Okay? Now, because of this clause when I ask for answer, right? Very difficult. Always don't tell me the correct answer. Now, on your calculator, if you look on top, there is this call degree mode, right? Now, for angles, uh, what you are doing now is in degrees. But angles can also be measured in gradients. Now, for the sharp people, right? You have on top of your decimal point a, a D, R, G, right? Can you see? Can you see it? You just press. Press until it's the degree mode. You know why I say this? Because sometimes you put your calculator in your oh, in your bag. Then after that, you can't press it, it becomes the radiant mode. Then the answer will be different. Yeah? You understand what I'm talking about? Then how do I change the radiant mode? You just please press the shift, the dot again. Can you see? You go to gradient, then radiant. How then? Correct. Yeah. Gradient, I don't know why it's used for. Okay, so far, not we are used. So when you go to R, on top will be R and D. Can you see it? Yes or no? Casual people, are you all okay? You can also change, right? Now, can everybody make sure that you are in the degree mode? D, D. Degree or D? Can I ask? You know which one, right? Casual people, you know how to change? There's a more thing that you can press for Casio. There's a more thing that you can press. The, I can't remember which one. Because different calculators are different. You just make sure it's in degree both D, G. Understand? Ah? Because if it's in radius, then all answers will be wrong. There's a student who took the AX paper all in the wrong mode. Then the whole answer wrong. Everybody clear? Okay, done. First thing I want to tell you is this. Are all of you in the degree mode? Because I'll teach you how to change the radius mode. Don't know how to change the degree mode. Do 
ความไหนโคไซน์วันที่สิบเป็นตัวอีกเจ้าพอยต์เซเว่นไหนเซเว่นวันไหนเวลาคุณคำนวณตัวทีละ find the value of each of the following without using a calculator โอเค how to find sine one two five without using a calculator I don't need you to do all those working in a textbook do you agree that one two five plus fifty five is one hundred So the sign will be the same, huh? That's all. Okay, okay. Now look at the second part. What did they say? How to find cosine forty-four? Do you agree? This two also add up to one eight zero. All right. This is negative because this is in the second quadrant, right? This will be positive, right? But with the same value, right? So what should it be? Show for seven one nine straight away, right? Can you see what I'm talking about? Okay, I'll be here. Angles in the first and second quadrant for sine are all positive. Okay? Cosine positive negative. Tangent positive negative. That's all. Are we all okay? Okay, now. If you go over to CASP, it's fine. But because you're only working with two quadrants in EMAX, you only have this. Everybody clear? Yes or no? Can or cannot? Can or So, are you all clear with how I get the answer for example one? Are you all okay? Then let me give you another one. Sign 13 is 0.5. What is the obtuse angle that we know about? 100 and what? 50. Is that clear? Is that clear? Okay, now, we do another one. Cosine. 150 is negative 0.866. What is cosine 30? 0.866, right? Because you have the two angle, right? You'll be positive. Can you see it now? Can you see what I'm talking about? Okay, I'll give you another one. Cosine 45 is 0 0.707. What is cosine 135? It's also 0.707 but what? Negative. Clear now? Clear now? So I repeat up. Uh, only sign is positive for both. Other than that, sign is only, cosine and tangent is only positive for negative. Are you okay? So this here is very powerful. Everybody okay? Get up. Uh? Yeah. Okay. So next, I'm going on to example 2. Uh, this is what will come up in the old level. Let's take a look at example 2. And a lot of people will get confused because they don't know what's happening, okay? I want all to look at the board, huh? Don't just want to copy, copy, you are coming to copy, okay? Now, they will give like that. This is a right angle triangle. 8 cm, 17 cm, 15 cm. Okay. Now, so all of you look at this box. This is like that. No level is like that. Okay, but they won't draw so lightly so that they won't draw it in front of you. Then you must go, okay? Now, let's take a look here. In the figure, DAB is a straight line. Angle ABC is 90 degrees. And AB is 50 cm, BC is 8 cm, and JC is 70 cm. Find the value of each of the following. Giving your answer in exact form. Now I'm going to show you this. All of you look up here. Don't look at the textbook, please. They want you to find sine DAC. Oh, look up. Where is DAC in the first place? DAC is this one, right? Do you agree it's an obtuse angle? This sign will be the same as this sign, right? Because these two add up to what? 
I want to feel it. Okay, now, what is sign of this? 8 over 17, correct? Alright, so sign of this will also be what? 8 over 17. Okay, class? Yeah? Okay, look at the second part. What did they ask for? Look at the second part. What did they ask for? Mm -hmm. They want to find the AC. Now, it's the same thing. They still want this, but they want cosine. So, cosine B, A, C, A, I forgot. Now, before that, I need to say the formation. Oh, we'll do so now. Angle B, A, C can be written like that. Or if they write D, A, C, B, like that, also for angle. Or they can spell out angle B, A, C. I'll say now. The cap is only on this, ah. Uh. You all don't go and uh, cap everywhere, ah. Uh. Let me go flower, ah. Uh. You understand what I'm talking about? Okay, only cap at the middle, ah. Uh.
This is the alkyls. So it will be a negative 4 over 5. Can you see it now? You understand? So this one cannot get wrong one in the exam. Understand? Okay, last one. What is it? Tangent angle BAC. Now where's BAC? BAC is this one. We uh. decided to change direction. Uh. So what is tangent? 4 over what? Everybody clear? Everybody clear? Can or cannot? So what's the more the story for today? A uh? cube angle side to side tangent all positive. A cube angle only which one positive? Side. The rest are all negative. Are we okay? I repeat again. A cube angle side to side tangent all positive. How about obtuse angle? Sign. Only signs positive. The rest are all negative. Are we clear? Okay. Now, then of course, life is not so simple, okay? Can we look at practice now too? They give you the coordinates now. They all of you get coordinates. The next page. Okay? This one is what students will make mistakes because they forget how to see this? Oh, yeah. How to see this thing? Kind of thing? I'm going to just sketch the diagram for the board. All of you, please look at the board. Are we okay? 
Yes or no? Okay, so this is the side HPC guy. Second part, cosine angle BCK. Now, where's BCK? All of you. BCK is this one, right? They want to find cosine of this angle, right? So this is the other one. Cosine, this one is what kind of angle? A few. So must be what? Negative. And it will be the same value as this one, right? Correct, right? What's the cosine of this one? 12 over 13. Can you see it's very simple in photos that like that? Everybody clear? Okay, next one, last one. Tangent angle ABC. This one is easy because it's inside. Okay. Tangent angle ABC will be 12 over 5. Am I right? Are we okay? Are we okay? Yeah? Can ah? Okay, now let's go to the last part. Do you want that D lies on the line x equals to 8? Write down a possible set of coordinates of point B such that cosine A, B, B is negative. D lies on the line x equals to 8. Now, may I know where x equals to 8? So we this straight line, right? Right. D is somewhere right. They say, given that D lies on the line X equals to A, write down a possible set of coordinates of point B, such that A, B, D is negative. Now, for angle A, B, D to be negative, it must be an obtuse angle, correct? Yes or no? All the total, huh? This is right angle, right? It cannot be here, or it must be above it, the wheel. Yes or no? Okay. D should be somewhere above. So that, all of you know, uh, angle A, B, D is obtuse. Can you see it now? Yes or no? Okay. So, anything that is A, it must be bigger than what? Six, right? Okay, so what do you want? What do you want? Eight, ten, also ten, right? It doesn't matter, right? Correct. Right? So maybe you have 8, 10, that is up. On the next one, it's an obtuse angle. Are we clear? Are we clear? Now, this last part is important. Now, how old level are you like? Last time, I'll show you. It's very fancy. Are you all okay, class? Can you understand what I'm talking about? Okay, then, there is one more thing that I want to tell the class. Okay? For measurements, uh, for measurements, all working must be five significant figures. Truncate, remember I told you? Final answer must be what? Three significant figures. Round off. Standard for all people. But for angles in degrees, uh, all level got specified. Uh, final answer is one decimal place. You must give all angles in degrees corrected to one decimal place. So, may I know the working? 2 dp. Not 2 dp. Always plus 2. So, how much is that? 3 dp. 3. Working will be 3 decimal places from K. Is that understood? This is important. You know why? Every year during prelims when we mark the sector paper, they have accuracy deducted. They don't find truncate 3 long all. They don't treat the small place one that's okay, it's just any how to. Then tell us that it's correct. Then expect us to give you last call. It's four level center you must follow. Understand that? Unless, unless the question state otherwise. For example, the question says give it to the nearest degree, then I must be a whole number. Question will override the instruction. Understand? If question never say, then you must follow the instruction. Everybody clear with what I'm talking about? Can or cannot? Can, huh? Okay, now I'm going on to example 3. Example 3, yeah? Now, I'm going to write the answer on the board very quickly because this one is quite simple. Okay, let's look at example 3, yeah? Given that x is between 
3, 0, and 180. Now, can you see that this is the first two quadrant? Okay? Find the possible value or values of x for each of the following equation. Sine x is 0 0.45, and cosine x is negative 0 0.834. Okay. I think you know how to find the answer, right? Alright. All of you find what is the value of x, the angle. You must press what? Sign inverse x. That's 0 0.45. You will get x equals to 26.743 degrees, right? Correct. Yes or no? I'm talking to you. But sign positive is it only one value? There's another one, right? Yeah. Or what? 180 minus. minus this one, right? Correct. Right, no? Sign positive got two, no? Okay. So my final answer will be 26.7 degrees. So if I minus this, this will give me what? 152, right? 153. 153. 153. Okay. Yes, my mistake. 153. Point, point three, right? Point three. Is this correct? Right? So I will have two values for this. Are we clear? Are we clear? Now, how come I give you three decimal places? Because only must have four decimal places. You cannot just one DP and one DP. Okay, now. Then let's have a look at this second one. Everybody press. Magazine.
confused angle, what happened? On this side positive, both of the sides tangent. Negative. Are we clear now? And you must know when you get up to 180, the ratio is the same. Huh? Okay? Alright, so let's take a look at the first question. Huh? Alright. Question number five. Have you taken this down free as well? In your logo, have you taken it down? Okay. Can you draw that diagram for question five first? Don't just keep trying to, because in your exam it will be printed, but in your paper it's not printed. I will at least do one question for you because today is very easy. I will only give you two questions for you to do at home. Okay? Then? Okay. Now let's take a look at this. In the figure, QRS is a straight line and the PQR, PQR is 90 degrees, PQ is X cm, QR is 40 cm and PR is 41 cm. Find the value of X. X squared plus 40 squared must be 41 squared. My Pythagoras theorem. Answer? Answer? Nine. Do we get an answer as nine? Yes. Now, I want to ask one question. Was I put nice yet? It's either yes or no. No, because it's already CM, so X is just a value of 9. You don't have CM, CM, etc. Okay? Now, so, we know this is 9 already. Huh? So, very good, huh? Life goes on, huh? Okay. Next part. Part 2. Okay. PRS is this one. So it's the same as sine of this one, right? Alright? What will it be? What is the sign of this angle? You don't know. What is the sign of PRS? It's the same as sine of this one. Right? So what is it? 9 over 41. Good. Don't you dare in the exam uh, go and find this angle, find this, uh, minus all, I have this here, uh, because this question is I'm going to set also without reading the computer. So you know how to do it. Understand? Okay, next one. B. Cosine angle PRS. I want to find cosine of this one. So how? Huh? What's the ratio first? What's the cosine ratio first? 40 over 41. But is it positive? Is it positive? No, it should be what? Negative. Because it is an obvious angle, right? Okay, last part. Tangent angle PRQ. Now, where's PRQ? PRQ is this one, or? It's the acute angle, so no problem, right? I think we are fine to answer your question. How come you say sine, cosine, or acute angle, you will be thought of Should everything also have now? Right. So I feel it very strange, I don't understand why. So PRQ, right? So, then angle will be 9 over what? 40. Okay? 9 over 40. Are we clear? This is called exact value, huh? Understand? Okay? In A we will have put something or something else. Okay, you'll okay, we'll, we'll see how. Okay, next, I want you to do this particular one. All of you look at question 9C. Question 9C. Okay, question 9C. Question 9C. Okay, question 9C. Okay, question 9C. Okay, question 9C. Okay, question 9C. This one is sign positive. Okay, 
Okay. 